Without breaking any of the pairs of glasses, put all the pairs of glasses into the smallest of these boxes. You must select your box before leaving the caravan. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Pairs of glasses. I didn't see this coming. Good to see you all. My name's James, I'm from England. So, won't surprise you that this first joke is about apricots. <laughs> you knew it. As soon as I opened my mouth, you're like, oh, great, it's another apricot routine. I'll listen to another Brit bang on about apricots for an hour. I don't make any apologies. We love apricots. We love that and Brexit is all we love. <laughs> First subject is adventure. Who wants to come in that? James. Uh, I'm not a very adventurous person. Um, <laughs> I, I've only ever used one side of a cheese grater. <laughs> Got no idea what the other three sides even do. <laughs> I'm not the only one either, because everyone knows what side I'm talking about, right? Isn't it? <laughs> Big holes. <laughs> That's more pairs than I thought I'd get. Sure, there's a couple of glasses that are bigger than the box. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not going anywhere near those ones, Alex. I've, I've written them off. <laughs> Love apricots. I bought some ready-to-eat apricots the other day. You, you call them dried apricots, but we call them ready-to-eat apricots because that's how much we love apricots. <laughs> In Britain, we're like, when? <laughs> when can I? I need to know when can I. Immediately? Well, put it on the bag, then. Put it on the bag. I want them on my teeth so bad. Bought some ready-to-eat apricots the other day. I'm trying to be more healthy. They say you are what you eat, which is true, because as soon as I bought the ready-to-eat apricots, I was ready-to-eat apricots. <laughs> Got no time for small holes and tiny holes. And don't know if you've ever seen small... It's the roughest side of anything I've ever seen in my life, small holes. There's rows of tiny little spikes, so I'm going to use that side as in self-defence. <laughs> then you've got to wash it. I don't know how you negotiate that. <laughs> how you wash something that is rougher than your own scouring pad. <laughs> Those ready-to-eat apricots, they came in a resealable bag as well, because not everyone's as ready-to-eat apricots as they think they are. Maybe next time they'll buy ready-to-eat some apricots. <laughs> yeah, man. I refuse to believe that anyone has ever used the side with the three curvy slits in it. <laughs> Don't need them. <laughs> Get rid of them, replace them with something I'd actually use in my day-to-day -day cheese needs. <laughs> that is a goddamn miracle that I did that. Well, you've got six pairs of glasses in there, have you? Not bad. And how do you want the Taskmaster to transport the rest? If I was a removal man and then he was there going, well, how do you want me to transport the rest? I'll go, up your ass. <laughs> I want to break him. Smallest ass wins. Thank you very much, Alex. Like, for me, it'd be a device that, in one smooth downward motion, completely unwraps a baby bell. <laughs> um, someone told me the other day the three curvy slits they use for slicing cheese. Apparently. It's the, it's the word on the street. <laughs> now, if I'm going to slice cheese, my first port of call is seldom the greater. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, I'm a knife man. <laughs> you might call me a fuddy-duddy, but I like it. It's unpredictable. <laughs> you always start out. <laughs> You're thinking, well, this cheese cutting's going excellently. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just passed the halfway mark and the cheese takes over. <laughs> Can't reverse it. It's made its mind up now. And yeah, now you've got to slice the cheese that's half the size you wanted in the first place. <laughs> but at least you've got some stories. <laughs>